There's an old business fable about commitment. First time I heard it was years ago, I was watching a video of Dartmouth's rowing coach. He was telling a story to inspire his team. And basically in this story, there's a father, there's a son, they're sitting down at breakfast, and the son says, Dad, I'm learning about commitment versus contribution in school, right? I'm trying to grasp it, but I can't quite understand the difference. The father thinks about it for a minute and says, look down at your plate, what do you see? The boy says, ham and eggs. The father says, well, that chicken made a contribution to your breakfast. That pig made a commitment. He then goes on to tell his team to row like pigs. And that simple metaphor created a foundation for everything that's come through my life since then, right? In anything we do, there's the option to go all in or to walk the line, to hedge your bets. And people so often leave or quit when something becomes difficult because there's another door they've left open, right? There's an easier way, an escape route. But let me ask you this. Do you think if it was a life or death situation, right? Say you needed water to survive. Would you give up after looking for three hours and coming up empty handed? Of course not. You'd keep looking because life depended on it, right? There's no other options available. There's this old saying that if you want to take the island, burn the ships, commit. And it's not until you do this that things truly begin to change that progress is made at the highest level. You simply cannot tiptoe to success. You can't sneak up behind it. You have to own it, right? Go after what you want like the world is on fire, like your universe revolves around making this happen. I have never, in my 28 years of existence, seen a lion walk up to a gazelle and hope that it falls over, right? It attacks it with everything that it has, speed, strength, tenacity. That's what brings home the prize. If you and your goals aren't one, if they are not the same, that's a pretty good indicator that you are fighting the wrong fight. You should live and breathe your dreams. Inhale and exhale them. They should live at the forefront of your mind, where every thought that comes through your head should be in the context of that dream. That basic question, how bad do you want it? Well, if you're not willing to fully commit to dive into something, then that gives you a pretty good answer right out of the gate. You can talk about hours spent, routines, habits, but if you aren't passionate about what you want, if you don't immerse yourself in it, none of that really matters. Live how you need to live. Do what you need to do. Be who you need to be to make your dreams real. Fully commit to excellence. Because until you do that, you will be left with only a vision and a false sense of reality. Winners don't have time for that. Okay, set your mind to your target and crush it. That is the only option.